Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be working on the bus again and we're going to be installing some inset screens, some fly screens, some mosquito screens. Because, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but our bus does not have any insect screens, any fly screens or any mosquito screens. And it's uh, the dimensions of the window are uncommon, they're irregular, so we can't just rip down to the hardware store and pick up a pre-made a pre version, so we have to make it ourselves. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, the reason why we're doing this in the, you know, in summertime, we'd like to sleep with the windows open, but we get mosquitoes and midges and all sorts of annoying little critters in the bus, and we don't like that. Uh, so we'd like to keep the windows open uh, without the insects coming in. So we're going to make up some fly screens. So let's go do that. All right, so this is our list of uh, materials we're going to use and some of the tools we're going to use as well. So we're going to need some uh, what's this called? Base speed mosquito framing uh, material, aluminium material. It's got a special slot for the spline. It's called a spline. Basically, this goes in the channel there and that holds your screen in place. You're going to need some insect screen. We're going to need, you don't need them, but I'll pick these up in their corners. So they go in the in the screen, sorry, in the frame to keep their corners square. Uh, I don't know if you saw on our windows, but they're not square, so I'm going to have to modify these in such a way that they um, they work. So we've got some corners, uh, we've got a roller, so this will push the spline into the groove. We've got a grinder for cutting, a little angle tool to measure our angles, we've got tape measures, ear protection, eye protection. Got a drill, we got uh, fasteners, that's about it. So uh, let's give this a crack, eh? So what I'm going to do first is measure the dimensions and measure how much of the frame I need to cut. Uh, and then obviously I'm going to cut it to size. So what I'm using to cut this is just a grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. Um, don't get your thumb caught in that because it really hurts. Yeah, you're already dead, man. If you don't already know what these are or don't have a pair, you should pick yourself up some. They're called quick grips. Um, basically a clamping system. You can squeeze them closed nice and tight. As tight as you want. If you put them on your hand, they really hurt. And to release them, you just press that little trigger there and they release. Really handy, really quick to have. So now I'm going to figure out the angle to mitre them, so that'll go on there like that. This thumb will go like that, hang on, like that, and I mark where they meet and then I cut them to the corner and that should give us our angle. This is what I mean when I say mitre the corners, so that's going to come together like that. I'm um, not sure if that's the right one or not, but yeah, that's what I mean. Hopefully yeah. that angle's right. So as I mentioned before, these corners are only right angle corners. Uh, the angles on the, the window aren't right angles, so I'm going to need to modify this. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is cut diagonally down from there, and I'm going to stop just before the corner, and that should give me freedom of movement while still having a little bit of uh, structural integrity to the frame. So it's not the neatest job in the world, but it'll do. Right, so I've got the frame all cut. Uh, I'm gonna stick it all together and see if it fits. All right, now comes the fun part where we get to put our insect screen, our cloth, onto the frame itself and uh, secure it, so let's do that. Um, obviously it's not wide enough just to do one roll like that, so we're gonna have to go lengthways and cut up the size. Um, I should be able to get at least two. So that's always a good thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm leaving a little bit of overlap. 
and then I'm getting the spline, the spline in line with the channel, getting my little roller and pushing it in. A decent amount of pressure. And that will hold the screen in place. So the screen's in, um, gonna try and put it on the bus now, hopefully it uh, stays in place. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Oh, it looks great. Good job. Alright. That's how you do... That's how you do a uh, fly screen on your bus, a custom fly screen on your bus. Just takes a little bit of... Um, Patience. Uh, if you like that video, uh, make sure you give us a like, a subscribe, a thumbs up. Um, make sure you share it amongst your friends, your colleagues, your, your monkeys, of your co-workers. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.